Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky here with an interesting new knife consult video for you. In front of us is an as yet unnamed prototype from Wii Knives. Uh, I've acquired a few new Wii Knives over the last couple of weeks. Well, not really acquired, but uh, obtained from my good buddy Adam Purvis at A Purvis Blades on Instagram. Really nice guy. Sent me a few of these Wii Knives to review. He picked this particular model up at the Blade Show 2017 where Wii Knives had apparently a very strong showing uh, and a bunch of new prototypes available. So he was able to acquire this one and uh, he, there were a few reasons that it really appealed to him and why he picked it up. Overall, the size is pretty impressive. You've got a very close to 4-inch blade going on here. You've got a 5-inch handle. The materials are titanium M390. You can see that written on the inside of the knife there. And uh, ball bearing uh, washer pivot. So, I mean, you can't really uh, complain about this thing on paper. Now, uh, this is not currently available uh, in a production form, but it probably will be in the near future. Um, and it has some interesting features that I wanted to go over with you. If you saw the sort of uh, preview video that I did on all three of these knives, maybe you saw some of those features. But let's talk about them a little bit more in depth and why I like them on this particular knife. So, right here, we've got... Uh, uh, 4-inch blade of M390 steel. Now, M390 is an excellent steel. I'm pulling out another knife here because I want to compare these. M390 is an excellent steel, great edge retention, uh, great corrosion resistance. This has been sharpened all the way out, nice flat there, up to a nice belly at the tip, and the tip is something that's certainly worth discussing. This is something I've seen Wii Knives do on a few of their models, and it's a, uh, a large grind like cutting a bevel that is zeroed out to the tip there so that's called a zero grind when the actual grind of the bevel goes all the way out to the sharpened edge and becomes a part of that sharpened edge like that um, so you know this there's a primary bevel here and then there's a the sort of cutting bevel down there and uh, on this one that that cutting bevel that secondary bevel goes all the way out to the tip like that and there's a beautiful satin, almost mirror satin finish going on there. I really like that a lot. I think it's really nice. And uh, I think that it's going to provide um, a very, very sharp edge. But I think it's also going to give some people a real headache. Because how exactly is one supposed to sharpen this? Um, I like to sharpen some of my knives. And uh, I like to get them sharpened. And I think that will present a real problem for people trying to sharpen this knife. Now, that being said, this thing did come obscenely sharp from the factory. One of the absolute sharpest knives maybe I've ever experienced, so I uh, really, really like that. Uh, the deployment methods are really maybe threefold, okay? So you have the uh, pivot, uh, not pivot, the uh, thumb stud going on right there. It's been bronzed. It's titanium. Uh, now, presumably, you can take that thumb stud off. There's a screw on this side and you might be able to take it off and reverse it. I haven't tried that. If someone does, let me know. Uh, interestingly, you can use that in the thumb flick. You can use it in the sort of traditional opening method. But the thing that I've found that's really fun is if you get your finger behind the blade, stick it into that fuller groove back there, you can actually spidey flick this knife open and that's a whole lot of fun. And then something that's even more fun is because that fuller runs the entire length of the blade and it just shows all of this is fuller right here all of that just uh, is is the fuller you can stick your finger anywhere underneath the knife here and flick it oh if you can get it the right angle you can flick it just like that it's a little bit harder to do on camera I've got this thing kinda close up right now I really really enjoy that now that mechanism would not be possible were it not for a very very smooth pivot of course we've got the uh, Wii knives uh, ball bearing pivot going on there, the standard pivot collar uh, and the Wii logo up front. Um, moving back to the handles here, we've got some beautifully milled titanium. I'm really enjoying the mill lines that they leave in the titanium on some of these knives. Uh, let's see, I've got the uh, 702 right here uh, that I think is absolutely gorgeous with those mill lines. It really makes it feel alive and look alive. I really appreciate that a lot. 
Um, and I think it's it's nice to see it on here. It shows the intricacy of the millwork and the thought process and the machining processes that went into this. Now, this particular uh, color combination I like because of the green uh, and the, the gold is really nice. I'm not sure I'm the hugest fan of this Wee Knives pattern. There's something that's just very... Um, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just not really to my liking. It is very subtle, and it does work. It provides some traction uh, to the casual observer. They wouldn't see anything but a nice pattern, but it is indeed the Wii logo. I like that a lot. The backspacer is integrated really nicely. There's no obvious hardware anywhere. Um, it is a very simple construction. It looks like there's one screw in the back here that goes all the way through to the front scale, and then the pivot, so it's only a two-point construction. But with that backspacer that may be pinned in there, it's very, very rigid and very strong. Someone asked if it was an integral handle. It is not, in fact, an integral handle, but it almost looks like that, given how long that backspacer is. Now, that provides a cover uh, for the knife blade so you don't cut your finger, but it also makes it just slightly more difficult to keep clean. If you're going to be using this in, in an everyday roll, you have to really get in there with your cloth. Speaking of getting in there, these... Uh, scales have been extensively milled and so they are it is actually a very very lightweight knife so again a four inch blade little less than five inch handle you're coming in right under nine inches in overall length but the weight is only 4.2 ounces and that's really really impressive so since we're talking about that size maybe we can pull out another couple of knives for comparison real quick I'll get a uh, my ZT0392, a three and a half inch blade, a little bit smaller overall profile. I've got another green knife out here. We've got the Riot Knives Steelcraft Series Bodega. Uh, here's a new acquisition that just came in. We've got the uh, ZT0055, another interesting offering coming out right now. Um, and how about we bring out the Wee Knives 702. Another offering from Wee Knives, very similar in overall size to the 702. I appreciate how the 702 is so slim and able to carry that huge blade uh, in such a nice tight handle there. So here we've got a uh, Borka Blades Microtech Stitch, a big old knife with a smallish blade for the overall size profile there. And uh, how about this one right here? We've got a, uh, a Wee Knives 606. This one also just came in, uh, and I did want to briefly preview this one in this video. So this one comes to me by way of a very uh, friendly Instagrammer. He sent me this knife, and I think that it provides a nice uh, comparison in the sense that this is another one of the Wee Knives that has that uh, fuller, not fuller, um, the uh, zero grind out at the tip there. So they're starting to do this on more and more of their blades. Uh, and I don't know if that's really the best option. It's going to make it really tough for the uh, community to sharpen their knives. Now this knife is a little bit more of a snappy flipper like that. I do like that a lot. The fuller doesn't work in the same way on this knife uh, in particular, but more on this knife later for sure. So this knife, how does it carry? It carries very, very nicely. This actually has a nice deep carry clip. Uh, it's It folds over like that and it rides with almost none of the knife showing. I love that about it. It's very slim in the pocket. It's not particularly fat. This thing is probably exactly half an inch in width. Here's the 0392, which is a half an inch, so almost exactly the same. Uh, in this dimension, it's very, very slim. Uh, it's barely over an inch in width right here, and uh, that makes it very easy to carry in the pocket. It's slim uh, in the jeans pocket. Everything slides past you. I wear mine in the waistline a lot, and this one sinks down really far, so it doesn't actually poke me in the stomach. And in any case, uh, I really like that. It carries very nicely. It's got a good weight, and <clears throat> it deploys every single time. You can flick this knife all day, and you're not going to ever have trouble with it. It's really, really well made. It's very, very smooth, and I absolutely adore it. Now, this may not be my favorite color combination, and I may not end up picking up this knife myself, but I see Wee Knives sort of moving towards more practical designs rather than the fantastic stuff that they had been doing, and they're still using high-quality materials with awesome action. So really looking forward to seeing what they've got coming up, guys. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Dr. Frunky. Click like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, guys, this is Dr. Frunky saying take care.